Hey guys! Alright, the mask bandit are back. <laughs> okay, alright, so in this episode of Singapore, Singapore Hawker, Hawker Food, Food we, we are, are at, at where? Air Raja Food Centre. Yes, correct. So we are here at Air Raja Food Centre because some of you have actually asked we all to come over here. Yes. And yes, we do accept requests. So for some of you, maybe you may want us to go and try some hawker centres. Alright, you just comment below, okay? Yes. Just put it below there. And if we are able to, we will come by. Ayu Raja Food Center, what I heard is, there's a lot of... There's a lot of halal food. Yes, correct. So, and Bandung, they yes. have the best rojak bandung here. Oh, <laughs> I must try that one. Yes. Alright, so Fajra, are you hungry? I'm very, very hungry. She's still hungry. Yeah? After <laughs> I don't know how many episodes, she's still hungry. Alright, okay. So, since she's hungry, let's not waste any time. Let's, let's go, go eat. eat. The first thing that I really wanted to try over here at Air Raja Food Center is the Rojak Bandung, okay? This is like something that has built a reputation here, alright? And it's like very popular. So now, the thing is that I'm very used to the classic ones uh, which is called the uh, Cuttlefish Kangkong. But this one, they actually have got like bihun in there, you've got the Tao Pok in there, alright? So, it reminded me a bit more towards satay bihun, the Chinese satay bihun. But let's give it a try. Ooh, one thing that I really love when I see this is the amount of ground peanuts that they actually give you. Alright, but before I start, I'm going to squeeze the lime. Oh, there we go. Let's squeeze the lime. <laughs> right, that will give it that acidic. Alright. Acidic taste to it. Okay, let's just put it aside first. Right. And now, I'm just going to mix everything up. Oh. Ah, yes. I want to get that sauce huh, all over and then that peanuts mix nicely in there. Right. Oh, there we go. So, Time to eat. I'm gonna try the bihun first. Huh? Smell it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I guess I know why they are popular. The sauce, you know, have got that tanginess to it. And then there's a spicy king, uh, but it's not too bad, all right? It's just a nice amount of heat, all right? And it is not as thick as what most people would do. You no, know, it's slightly on the watery side, but it is fantastic because then the bihun will be able to absorb uh, all that lovely flavor in the sauce. All right, now I'm gonna try it with the kangkong, okay? And put the taupok in there as well. Mm. This is so good. Now the cuttlefish together with the sauce. Mm. That is the spot. The cuttlefish is not like chewy. Alright, it is very nice and soft and Oh, wow. The amazing thing is that I think the sauce, that amazing sauce is binding everything together very, very nicely. Oh, 
I'm really loving this. Ah. Hmm. This rojak Bandung. I have, I think I will give it my own personal approval. All right. And if you are here, do give it a try. It is a really, really, really good. You see, for release, huh? So what I have here is the ayam geprek uh, sambal terasi. So it is my first time trying sambal terasi. But before you eat, what I have is a hand sanitizer by Iman. I bought them from uh, Manis Anis. Ooh, smells so nice. So now I can eat. Okay, what is inside the plate is the uh, cherry tomato and then this one is tahu and then cucumber, some keropok, the colourful keropok, also cu uh, chicken cutlet with the sambal terasi on top. So first, I'm going to try the rice first. Mm. The rice is actually chicken rice. So yeah, you can taste all the chicken stock inside the rice. Mm. Now, I'm going to try the chicken with sambal terasi. Mm. Oh, it's guys. This is actually something new. Mana? It tastes like sambal belacan, but it's not sambal belacan. It is spicy. Has the what's the bacin smell? Umami. Ah, umami, umami, umami taste. And yeah, it's different. Now I'm going to eat the sambal mixed with the rice. Put the chicken on top. It all together. Hmm. Good. Keropok. Please try. Big can fit or not? Let's try it. Hmm. The taste is very new to me. They also give free soup. Does it taste like the usual ayam geprek? Actually, have you tried ayam geprek before? That one is uh, nasi ayam sambal uh, chili ayam chili tengi. It's different, totally different. Ah. Yes, it's totally different. The sambal, this one, doesn't taste like have ketchup inside. It's just chili and then the umami taste. Yeah. It's like that. Alright, let's move on to the next dish. I am going to have the chicken chop. Alright, now one thing about this chicken chop, it is actually a very classic, uh, what I usually call a coffee shop or a food court western style. Uh, Alright, you can see that 
one of the things that determines this uh, style is the bun. All right, you have got a dinner roll which they have already, you know, lightly fried. And this is something that I don't know why, I always look forward for the dinner roll, okay? And this is something that a lot of the fast food restaurants, they're already, you know, taking away. All right, and then you have got the coleslaw as well as uh, baked beans and your fries and that one thick slab of beautiful boneless chicken thigh that has been grilled as well as the sauce. Okay, so let's dig in. Eh? All right, I'm gonna straight away go for the chicken. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's so nice and soft and tender. It's so easy for me to cut through. Oh, look at that thick piece of chicken. Yummy. All right, let's go. Bismillah. <laughs> wow! The chicken has been grilled very, very nicely here. It is soft and tender, alright? And the marination on the chicken is really coming through. That is very nice. Then, you've got that brown sauce uh, on top of it. That, oh really... All right, it really, really goes very well on the chicken. Uh. Mm. Oh, this is really good. Now, the next thing is, what I like to do, is that I'll take the bun, I'll bite it a bit. Right? Then I'll take the brown sauce, and I'll just slather it on top of that. Okay? And I got a second round. Ah, oh, that is nice. All right. Now, this chicken chop here, I mean, it is really, really something that, you know, if you grew up eating Western food from the hawker centers or from the coffee shop, uh, this is something that is very nostalgic. Uh. Mm. I bought this sour soap drink from Habib's Cafe and I have to share with you guys. Ah. It tastes so good. It's not too sweet and it is sour. Ah, just the way I like how I like it. And okay, the feelings inside the sour soap is a lot. There's still more below. Okay, there's a lot. <laughs> the eyes go up. Mm. Sour. <laughs> ha, I just finished eating. So what I have with me to clean my mouth with is the Iman wet wipes. This is from Anis, Anis as well. For more information, you can see inside the description box below. Let's try it. Uh, this one is... I think it is... The urine that's menthol, crystal. It smells like mint. It smells nice and it's also very cooling. Yeah. Okay, I have never tried any wet wipes that make my mouth very cooling, you know. Uh, Ayuraja Food Center. I think one of the great thing about the center is that there is a lot of halal yes, food. Yes, correct. You know, however, there is a lot of Indian stall. Correct. Yes. Uh, and you'll find that there's a lot of repetition as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's a lot of like roja, you know, the mee goreng, everything. Nasi oh. ayam. Yeah. So we had to dive, <laughs> swim, <laughs> move around, try to find those that are different. Alright, so Fazira, what's your favorite? My favorite is the definitely roja bandung. <laughs> you see, uh, two episodes in a row. <laughs> correct? She's still my line. What to 
salju. Okay. That one is the the taste is the best. Over Bedok Corner, she also like. Oh, I think because husband and wife. <laughs> yeah, correct, husband and wife, right? So ah yes, right. So the Roja Bandung Sotong. I think that was really, really amazing. The best and for this episode. One thing that I really love is the sauce. That sauce is. Ooh, I can just take that sauce, put it into a cup, and after that, drink I it. just drink the sauce all the way. I think, oh, that was wonderful. And then, uh, I guess the Western, right? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's it's okay. alright. Alright, and you know you can give it a try. They have got a lot of choices there. Yes. Alright. Uh, one thing is that actually I wanted to try the rice dishes lah, but the problem is that I try to keep space inside lah. <laughs> you know, before somebody say, you know, oh, look at the way how Danny eat. My goodness. Alright. So Fajra, anything else? No, for me that sambal terasi is definitely new to me, so I'm I, I'm not very familiar with the taste. Yeah, correct. Yes. Right, the sambal terasi. In fact, what happens is that if you're thinking about like the sambal gepre, no, it's, it's totally, totally different. Totally different. Yes. The sambal terasi they actually use shrimp paste. Shrimp paste. Yes. So that's why that is that umami. The taste. Uh, Ten out. Yes. It, you know, in English, right? In English, uh, actually, it's very glamorous. Uh, umami. So too nice. <laughs> but it's in, in Malay, Malay macin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what happened is that, yeah, that is something that, you know, you if you come down and try the sambal terasi, uh, don't think that it is like the sambal gipre. It's gonna be different. Yes. Okay, so be prepared. Don't tell me you all say, yeah. Hey, Johnny, Fajirot, say sambal gipre, sambal gipre, and then why it tastes so bacin, so bacin, so bacin. It's actually different, wait, uh, wait. this is sambal terasi. You say bacin, right? Yeah. I've got this. Whoa! <laughs> Check out. Wow. This one is actually from uh, Manis Anis. It's a uh, like fabri fabris like that, but it, but then it's halal, oh, halal okay, version. Okay. So yeah, you say bacin, right? So, so what happened is that you know, hey, you don't say bacin, bacin, bacin. Now, previously, <laughs> you already say I smell like fish. <laughs> uh, and then today, uh, this one, this one is on camera getting. Ooh. All right. This uh, one is the uh, rosa, be fresh. Yeah. You see, some of us, what happened is that you know when we come to the hawker center, right? And then you end up uh, when you go out. Uh, your shirt smell like the, you know, like the chicken cutlet, and then your hair smell. <laughs> Sambal blacan. Like Sambal blacan. <laughs> so if you are worried about that, right? Then what happened is that yes, Fajira, demonstrate. Mm. Wow, thank you, Fajira. This one is the B Fresh oh. Rosa. They no. have different one as well. It's the Iman bag. Inside ah. there's a hand sanitizer, as well as wet wipes. Ah. So for more details. Like I said, you can right. go inside the distribution box and go to Manis Anis in, in Facebook. Yeah. And by the way, uh, we don't earn anything out of this. Uh. Yeah. Alright, we don't earn anything. We are just using the product. Yes, just so helping because out. Because it's good, we share it with you. Yes. Alright. So, Fajira? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links are all in the description below. And don't forget one last thing. Don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. Click, click it, click it. it. See you. Bye. Bye.